हेलो एवरीवन आई एम हर्षिता एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी रिकरिंग एक्सपेंसेस एंड कंटेजेंट वॉकर इन एक्सपेंस मॉड्यूल वन बाय वन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस बोथ दी कंसेप्ट हियर सो फर्स्ट रिकरिंग एक्सपेंस रिकरिंग एक्सपेंस आर द एक्सपेंसेस दैट वन इनकर रिपीटेडली और पीरियोडिकली फॉर एग्जांपल फोन बिल फाइन एंड इन एक्सपेंस वन कैन शेड्यूल दिस रिकरिंग एक्सपेंस टू एलिमिनेट अ रिपीटेटिव एक्सपेंस एंट्री सो फॉर दैट व्हाट वी कैन डू इज फॉर eliminating the repetitive work we can make a expense item in the expenses and while creating expense item we can mark that expense as a recurring in nature so what we will do is we will go to the instance we will create expense item there and after creating expense item we will select that item and from action menu we are going to mark it as a recurring expense and when we will mark as recurring expense we can also give a frequency of the recurring expense like weekly monthly etc so uh, we will move to the instance and we will see that but before moving to that there is one more concept of the contingent worker we will discuss that and then we will see both the concept together in the instance so what is contingent worker contingent workers are the workers who don't have a direct employment relationship with your company they are supplied by a employment agency or a self employed contractor so these are known as contingent worker they are associated with suppliers that are set up in expenses so that they can uh, submit their expense report contingent worker can submit expense report only uh, contingent worker cannot request a cash advance or can be assigned to a corporate card so this is a point to remember so for contingent worker only expense report you can do fine so these are the two concept recurring expense and contingent worker both are very small and easy concept we will quickly go to the instance and see how both works there so moving to the instance now now after logging to the instance go to navigator me go to expenses now to create a new item just click on this add icon just click on this add icon then give date i'm giving today's date and in october gift type i'm giving telephone add amount i'm giving $25 and save and close now here just select your item which you have created after selecting this item go to actions and here you can see mark as recurring expense is coming click there you can also add frequency from here like monthly bi weekly or weekly i am giving monthly here so you can see here recurring monthly is coming after we have marked it as recurring expense and given frequency as monthly so this was very small and easy concept in the expenses that how you can create item and mark it as a recurring in nature so this was all about it after seeing the concept of recurring expense now we will go for contingent worker so first we are going to go to navigator expenses under expenses go to auditing and from the task list go to manage expense contingent worker to see how supplier and contingent worker associated with each other so for creating a new just click on this add icon give a person name after giving a person name give a associated supplier here supplier site procurement business unit and a start date so this is for creating a new so if you want you can create a new but right now i'm using this contingent worker with the name of jennifer jackson only so what we are going to do is we are going to log in as jennifer jackson and we will submit a report and then report will go for the manager's approval after giving the approval reimbursement will be done so we are going to see this whole process one by one so let's first log in as a jennifer jackson now so 
So as you can see here, I have logged in as Jennifer Jackson. So for creating expense report, going to navigate to me expenses. Now click on this create icon to create a expense report. Give purpose. I'm giving travel. Create item. To create item, I have clicked on this create icon. Now select a date here. Give type, I'm giving air. Add an amount, I'm giving 50 USD. Rest fields are not mandatory here, so I'm not filling it. I have just filled the mandatory one. And I'm just saving and closing it now. Now I will accept the corporate travel and expense policy and I will submit it for the approval. So expense report submitted for approval. So this is pending for approval now. Jennifer Jackson manager is Matthew Schneider. So I'm going to log in as Matthew Schneider and I'm going to approve this report for the Jennifer Jackson. So let's log in as Matthews. So now I have logged in as Matthew and here in bell icon, you can see the notification expense report approval for Jennifer Jackson 50 USD. So I'm going to approve it from here. If you want to go for details, you can just click on this hyperlink. Right now I'm approving it from here only. The approval is done. Now we will log, log in as Jennifer Jackson again for the further process. So in Jennifer Jackson, you can see under bell icon also there is notification that our expense report has been approved. Now we will go to navigator, me, expenses, and we will see the status of our expense report. Now you can see ready for payment processing is coming. So as Jennifer Jackson was not having the required role to run the process for reimbursement. So I have logged in back as Matthews and I will show how to uh, run the process for reimbursement. So go to navigator and navigator go to expenses and under expense go to auditing here. Go to task list. Go for process, expense, reimbursement, and cash advance. Select your business unit. I'm giving my business unit here, US1, and expense reimbursement, and submit. Just refresh it. Process is running. completed, succeeded. And you can see under invoice, one is coming. Then you will click on this hyperlink, you can see the detail of this invoice. So this is our invoice for the contagion worker and you can see the description here as paid to contagion worker, check, uh, Jackson Jennifer for reason travel. So this is how contingent worker concept work in the industry. 
So one more thing I would like to add here is where what is the difference between the employee and the contingent worker in this process is when you will submit this expense reimbursement and cash advance request for the employee under payment request you will see the effect and for the contingent worker you are going to see under the invoice this one and when you will click on it you can see the details here so this is one basic difference between the process of employee and contingent worker reimbursement so this is all for today thank you